Science, technology, engineering, mathematics. This is STEM education. In the school district of Pickens County, STEM education is about teaching all students to think using a design process. For our youngest students, that process is finding a solution to a simple problem, like designing a machine that makes a top spin, or engineering a windmill. As students grow, the design process becomes more complex. Students learn to generate many ideas for a problem, selecting one solution to test, then designing, testing, and redesigning a technology to solve that problem. The emphasis on science and math is so critical uh, in schools right now, as well as your future that you'll be facing. Uh, and this program really just puts all of it in, in one, uh, and you will see that not only the middle school level today, uh, but also the high school program. One of the strongest STEM education programs in the school district of Pickens County is robotics. Well, the robots themselves are autonomous. So what that means is they write the program on the laptop, download it to the robot, and then they unhook the robot so it can operate completely independently of any human power or human action and it will perform on the obstacle course and it will earn points that way. Being in robotics has definitely changed the course of my life. I mean, I, when I first got involved with robotics, when I first saw it, I didn't know anything about robotics, I didn't know anything about computers or technology, but after I started to get involved, uh, I. I saw that it was applicable. I saw that, that it was something that I could pursue and it was something that was in, within my reach. STEM education means giving students the problem-solving skills they need to get a job in the 21st century. I started dabbling with, uh, with computer programming. Uh, I actually won a competition with the Invention Convention in Greenville. And, uh, and when I won that competition, I won a, a computer. And with that computer, I programmed another game. I entered that into the next invention convention, and I won again. And at that point, I realized that there might actually be something to this. There might be something worthwhile here. Curtis now owns a company that makes video games for gaming systems like Xbox and PlayStation. Curtis also designed the game simulation for the 2012 International First Robotics Competition. The STEM education is absolutely critical when we're talking about recruiting companies to Pickens County. And, and I can give you a perfect example. We landed a company earlier this year called VCI. VCI came because we did an economic development announcement where we lauded the skills of our robotics program, talking about the skills that our kids had developed, the competitions that they had gone in and won and then traveled on to the international competition. Because of the publicity at our economic development announcement of that robotics team, we got a phone call from a company who said, we need a location somewhere in the southeast and your kids would meet excellent employees. So it, it absolutely makes a difference. We've landed two companies that wrote, deal specifically with robotics in the last six months. Um, approximately $15 million in investment, 125 jobs. And that's all because they need skilled employees with robotic skills and we're teaching it in the schools and we're not only teaching it, our kids are competing at a state level, at a regional level, at a national and international level, and they are doing an excellent job. Well, I work for a technology company. GE is, uh, you know, is one of the largest technology companies in the world, and this is a, a technology program, right? St STEM itself, science, technology, engineering, and math, it's a, it's a fundamental education program for kids. And, you know, we have, in GE Energy itself, we have maybe 38,000 technologists. And if you think about an eighth grader is four years away from you know transitioning into the community, either going to college or you know go, joining the workforce, for us it's just fundamental. If you have a, a technology business, you're going to invest in technology and technology development in the community. 
And for us, it's just reaching out, you know, to uh, to children and showing them pathways to join in what we do and finding ways to enjoy what we do. It's just it's elemental, really. And it's not a huge, huge amount of money to be able to reach out, you know, to maybe 20 or 30 children and give them a snapshot of what we do for a living and, and open in their eyes that regardless of where they're at right now as far as uh, in their education pathways and where they're at as far as with their home life, yeah, they can have an opportunity for themselves if they just work hard, if they have gracious professionalism, if they understand what teamwork means, if they're creative, they can have great opportunities for themselves. This is about the future of Pickens County. Everything that we do in Pickens County is dependent on economic development. If we are adding jobs, if we are creating investment in Pickens County with new companies coming in, we are giving our children a future. And giving our children a future takes the burden off the individual citizen as a taxpayer, gives them a job they can be proud of, they can earn a decent wage, they can have a quality of life, they can spend their money in local businesses, which ultimately betters the community all around. It is a win-win cycle and it is never ending and we can never have too many businesses in Pickens County.